AMD and NVIDIA released their latest generation of GPUs and in this video I'm gonna compare the RTX 5080 and the 9070 XT to the 7900 XTX and see where those stand when pitted against AMD's previous generation flagship. I've already tested the 5080 performance across both Windows and Linux and it seems to lose a bit of steam when switching to Linux. But Will the 9070 XT have a chance to beat the 7900 XTX? Let's find out. As AMD stated that the 9070 XT was better with UEFI, I enabled it for cache OS following the official documentation. One thing that I did different is to restart when I reached this point. Once all the steps are followed, you will be able to see that UEFI is enabled and cache OS is booting. I checked the 9070 XT in Linux and saw that the power usage is normal, so I removed the readings from the recording so that there is no performance degradation as I didn't have this reading set for the other GPUs. The GPU driver version can be seen in the side-by-side -side runs in G-overlay readings as well as in the charts. The raster side-by-side -side runs will have only the 1440p settings displayed as there is no need to display the 4K because those are the same. Now. Let's move to the side-by-side -side runs. What are you doing? It seems we have company.
when it comes to the 1440p performance, I must admit, I was expecting a bit more from the 9070 XT. The results largely mirror what we saw in Windows, meaning the 7900 XTX still has the upper hand. The NVIDIA GPU loses a bit of steam here, but only at this resolution. The biggest disappointment came in Counter-Strike 2, where the performance gap between the 9070 XT and the other GPUs remained noticeable, both in Windows and Linux. For some reason, RDNA 4 just doesn't shine in Counter-Strike 2. Overall, the 9070 XT performs similar to the 5080, while also being cheaper. However, it does fall short when compared to the 7900 XTX, which holds a solid 15% lead over both. Increasing the resolution sees the 5080s snag some wins in Age of Mythology, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 and Silent Hill 2. At 4K we can see that the lower memory bandwidth makes the 9070 XT lose ground against the other two GPUs. At this higher resolution the 9070 XT starts to struggle, especially due to its lower memory bandwidth. While the 7900 XTX marginally outperforms the 5080, it still maintains a 14% lead over the 9070 XT. If AMD would have paired the 9070 XT with higher clock memories or increased the bus speed, it would have came close to the 7900 XTX. The same behavior was observed in Windows as well. Now let's talk about ray tracing, where things start to get a bit disappointing. I tried to run Indiana Jones on the 9070 XT, but it simply wouldn't work, even after trying Proton Hotfix, Proton Cache OS, and Proton GE, all with the same result. Even worse, I couldn't test ray tracing in Spider-Man 2 on the AMD GPUs, as the feature just refused to work. In the side-by-side -side runs, I'll only be showing the 1440p settings, but keep in mind that I enabled upscaling when moving to the 4K runs, as performance tends to drop when using path tracing, which will be reflected in the side-by-side -side runs. As expected, the NVIDIA GPU takes the lead in ray tracing. What's more surprising is that the 7900 XTX edges ahead of the 9070 XT in this department. This goes to show that the 9070 XT Linux drivers need more work, because when it comes to RT, RDNA 4 is a bit more capable than the previous generation. 
Keep in mind that these four games are heavily optimized for Nvidia GPUs, which is likely why the performance gap is so large, and three of the four games were tested with path tracing enabled. At 4K, when enabling upscaling, the dynamics remain the same. The 7900 XTX still outperforms the 9070 XT, but both fall behind the 5080 by a significant margin. The 9070 XT's ray tracing performance is disappointing, especially considering how I hoped AMD could close the gap to Nvidia with RDNA 4 in Linux when RT is added to the mix, but right now the drivers just aren't there yet. So, after all the testing, the 9070 XT on Linux doesn't quite measure up to the 7900 XTX. The 7900 XTX still leads in terms of raster and surprisingly in RT as well, but this is due to more mature drivers. As for 4K performance, the 5080 flexes its raw power, at least against the 9070 XT, but Nvidia also needs to improve their Linux drivers. At this point, it's hard to justify such an expensive GPU when the performance is lacking in Linux. I do believe that with future driver updates, both the 50 series and RDNA 4 performance will improve, but for now, it's a bit underwhelming. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below to help with the algorithm, and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.